Raheem Zulfika Ali from Excel Basement. In this video, we will learn that how to change the visual with the help of bookmarks. So let's get start. Uh, I will change this particular visual as you can see on my screen. Uh, that is total orders by ship mode. So this is currently a donut chart. And for example, if I want to switch this donut chart into a, a column chart, so I have to go to visualizations pane and click on clustered column chart. And again, if I want to switch back, I need to click on donut chart, right? So I have to uh, basically click on the visualizations pane, that particular visual right from here. And what I want is I want to create this kind of a view uh, on my canvas with the help of some buttons and when I click on those buttons so the bookmarks will change this particular visual okay so I will not use this visualization pane so how to do that so let's get start so first I have to insert two buttons so for doing that I will go to insert tab okay insert tab and in the buttons you will have a blank option available blank button okay so I will click on that so a blank button is now added to my canvas and uh, let do some settings okay so now first we will give a so first let's define the name inside uh, text for this button so I will go to style and uh, just turn on the text and write a name here let's say when i click on this particular button so it shows the donut chart okay and let's increase the font size as well all right now let's add another button insert tab click on buttons and click black and just drag right here okay and this will be called as in the style click on on text and define text as column just to make you understand I am just giving a normal names uh, a chart names in this particular buttons you can assign any name you would like to okay so when I click on column uh, instead of donut chart it will appear as a clustered column chart okay so up till now I have just inserted two buttons and just name them okay just added a text to it now what I will do is I will select this particular visual that is total orders by ship mode okay and i will press ctrl c and then ctrl v so i have just paste a visual okay and i will adjust this second visual. put the similar kind of chart okay so now we will create bookmarks and assign a bookmark to these buttons so that one visual at a one time we can see okay so how to do that very easy so I will go to view tab and here we have bookmarks so I will click on bookmarks and also we need to click on selection okay so let me hide the visualization and fields all right so we have a button that is donut chart right so when I click on this button as you can see in the selection pane all uh, all the objects which are available on my canvas all the objects which are available on my canvas has been shown here in the selection as a list okay and when you click on any of the object here uh, a gray line has been drawn this means that this is active object which you have selected so I have selected the donut button this is the button and on this button what I want is I want this particular chart to be shown which is total order by ship but I don't want this overlapping chart which is the uh, clustered column chart to be shown okay so what I will do is I will just click on this eye which says that hide this visual so this visual has been hide okay and now what I will do is I will add a bookmark here so I will click on add bookmark double click to rename and I will assign a name as donut and with the right click I will say update right now I will add another bookmark click on add and name as name this as column okay so once you name this as column 
now what i want is that i need to hide this particular visual so i will click on this visual which is a donor chart and i will click on hide this visual but i want to unhide this uh, visual which is a clustered column chart right and i will and i will say up, update right click update so i have updated my second bookmark here right now once i have uh, bookmarks as as you can see that when i click on donut bookmark it shows the donut chart when i click on column uh, it uh, shows the column chart right so this bookmarks functionality i need to assign to these two buttons right now for doing that what we need to do is let me hide that bookmark now so i will click on this donut button and i will open format button here in the action just first turn on the action and in the type select bookmark okay and uh, which bookmark you want to assign which is that is the donut right and then select the column button in the action just turn on that action in the type select bookmark and which bookmark you want to assign that is the column bookmark right now let's try it out so as we are using the desktop version we need to press control key and left click so when i click on donut it shows donut chart when i click on column it shows a column chart so this is how we can switch between a different visuals uh, using the bookmark techniques and adding buttons to it in our dashboard right so i hope you like this technique thank you